Hello, today's video is on stock number 35806TE or the manufacturer's number GM1362. Uh, it will come in a little blister pack like that. Let's just go ahead and get it out of here. Kind of a little data sheet. Get that out of the way. Uh, I've already gone ahead and installed the battery. Uh, very simple, straightforward. Take sure to put it back together. Uh, it's a quarter twenty nut for mounting. Uh, it's that's the the sensor itself. It measures directly at the sensor. It doesn't measure at a distance. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on this. There's two buttons on, on and off, and a max. Uh, to turn it on, just press and hold, and it turns on. Uh, press while it's on. You'll turn a backlight on. It only stays on for thirty seconds. It comes from the factory in Celsius. Uh, let me show you how to convert that over to, uh, to Fahrenheit right off the bat. You'd have to uh, turn the unit off, hold the max button, and then press the on button. And it comes on and it converts it to, to Fahrenheit. I'll go ahead and turn the backlighting on just so we can see a little better here. Uh, as you see, the top uh, display is uh, relative humidity and percentage. The bottom number is uh, the temperature. You can see it can measure from, let's see, minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 158 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 30 degrees Celsius up to 70 degrees Celsius. So let's see, let's get into some of the functions here. You press the, uh, the max button once and you get a hold. That means it's going to hold the data for uh, as long as you have the button. Press it again, it comes off and it starts actively displaying what the temperature is. I believe the sampling rate is about two and a half times a second. Um, let's see, let's, this caused me a little confusion, so let's, let's, let me explain it to you and uh, see if we can stop some, some phone calls and some emails. So here we go. When you press and hold the max button, you get a display called max. Um, you flip, press it again, it goes to minimum. So you, while you're in this mode, you can flip back and forth between minimum and maximum. I thought that would display over a time sample, but it doesn't. What it does is when you're in the max, it's going to show you what the highest temperature is while the max button is pressed. Right now we're in an air-conditioned office, so it's reasonably well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, then I'm going to go outside, and, and I'll show you what it does. Okay, I've just come back inside, and as you can see, I, uh, after a few moment, minutes outside, uh, <laughs> nice spring summer day in Florida. It is 86 degrees, 86.3 degrees at 80.8 degrees humidity. Uh, and it will, that's the highest temperature at red, highest temperature humidity, so it will stay there as long as the max button is on. Like I said, the backlighting only stays on for 30 seconds. So uh, let's flip over to the uh, hit press the max button again, and now we're back into do the uh, what the actual sensor is reading right now um, but now we got the minimum so the exact opposite it's going to record and, and store the lowest possible setting here again I'm just quickly going to go put it in the refrigerator just just to give you an idea of, of what it how it works one moment okay now in the minimum mode after spending a, a couple of minutes in the refrigerator you can see the relative humidity is at uh, the lowest it recorded was 10 10.5% uh, temperature of 51.7 degrees Fahrenheit. So it will it will just continue to display that until you uh, you, you get off uh, hit the max again. That's now if we were to go ahead and press and hold the max button, it goes back into regular operating mode. It's kind of high humidity right now because it's in the refrigerator, and imagine it's getting all the condensing humidity off of the uh, on the sensor there okay I guess only other thing really to cover is sneak in my little cheat sheet here they have in the corner a a high and low uh, only thing that does let's see the high temperature sign will come on at 95 degrees Fahrenheit or above uh, the, or at uh, 35 degrees Celsius. So if you see an H in the corner there, a little little HI, you'll know what that is. Uh, for low, it comes on at um, from uh, below 32 degrees Fahrenheit 
and above, uh, oh, let's see, in Celsius that would be from below zero degrees Celsius. So from those two points, uh, you'll you will see an, a low. I probably we can get that show you real quick, just with a quick little can of get the temperature to drop. Up oh, already that fast. You can see the little oh, turn on the backlighting again. The LO for low. I think this should answer most of your questions. Uh, you have anything else you need to know? Let us know. Ask us uh, anything you would like. And thank you for watching our video.